Hello and welcome. What you see here is a linear scale and is always located either at the side of the map or at the bottom of the map. And in South African maps that we use for for caps, it is always in kilometers. So in this video, I want to show you how you can simply use this in your exams. So I will do this part and also I will use the um, map to show you how easy it is to use this uh, this scale, this linear scale. Oh, please note that this scale is always drawn up to scale. So it is very accurate um, when you use to calculate distance. So let's quickly go, but before we go anywhere, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. So this scale, as you can see here, um, from 0 to 4, from 0 to 4 on your right hand side, um, it's in kilometers and then from 0 up and to your left it's in meters what does that mean so it means from if I count or if I measure my distance from 0 to 1 I have 1 kilometers up to 4 kilometers but to my left these intervals that you see they all make up 1000 meters so 1000 meters divided by these um, these intervals so you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so this means it's hundred or one thousand divided by ten which gives us one hundred so meaning from this interval to this one you have one hundred meters so in total this will give you a hundred thousand meters so this, this is important when you are measuring distance um, on your topographic maps. So to answer this question, um, as it says, the, dist the distance from A to B on the linear scale below is in meters. Um, so you have options there from A to D, 2000, 2, uh, 2004, 2400, 2.6 and 2.4. So let's let's work it out. So we know from here, mm -hmm. so meaning this distance from A to B was measured from a topographic map. And what you do when you measure your distance, you mark on your strip paper. I will show you when I go to the map. And then you place your distance or your marked distance on this linear scale and it will accurately give you um, give you the distance that you are measuring without any calculations so this is the at B to this point so let's see you have one two or rather zero one two to B in kilometers so from zero to here we'll have so we know already that we have two kilo two kilometers and then we have to add our meters so this will be one two three or rather one two three four from zero one two three four so this means that we have two kilometers and one uh, or rather and four hundred meters so our answer will be will be d so i'm gonna show you how to use the linear scale to accurately measure your distance on the map using the linear scale so say you were asked to calculate um, the distance between the spot height 1 on, uh, 1495 here and also or between 1495 and spot height 1459 so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little paper strip and then 
you're gonna mark your distances or you're gonna mark the two locations where you're calculating your distance and then you're gonna transfer that to a linear scale and after i'm doing after i'm done doing this i'm gonna use my ruler to confirm if my calculations or if my measurements were were correct so calculating the distance between uh the spot height 1495 and also 1459 what i'm gonna do is mark the two mark the two um spot height and then go to my linear scale and try to find out what's the distance in kilometers so because i'm using a book or rather a map that is on a book my map our my map linear scale is on another page so remember with this paper strip here these are the two markings uh, of the distance between 1459 and the other spot height so when you are done doing that you just need to use your linear scale to to find your distance so i'm gonna start by firstly putting um this paper strip or these markings on um on the kilometers side of the map but i know because from zero to one it's one kilometers but it seems like i have um seems like i have a couple of meters so this means i will have to um also put um this paper strip on the side of the meters for me to find my 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 meters so from now i know i have one kilometer comma so for you to find the the meters you need to place this point or this marking closest to um the kilometers on this side so this is from zero to one and for me to find my meters it means i'll have to count from zero going um on my left hand side so this will be zero one two so this means i have one comma two or one which is one comma two kilo kilometers or so this means i have um one kilometer and 200 meters which is 1,2 kilometers when con when converted in total so to prove the accuracy i'm gonna measure or calculate the distance um, using my ruler on the map to prove if this linear scale was correct remember i said to you that this linear scale is always at the bottom of your map and it, it is drawn to be accurate so i'm gonna use the traditional way to calculate the distance using my ruler to show you how accurate the linear scale is so i'm gonna take my ruler and measure the distance between the two points or the two spot heights and I'm getting something like 2.4 centimeters. So 2.4 centimeters. 2.4 centimeters. Remember the map scale, or rather when you measure distance using your ruler, you have to multiply that by the map scale. And the map scale that I'm using is 50. 50,000 remember it's also in centimeters and we want our final answer in in um in kilometers so i'm gonna say 2.4 times 50 50,000 and this gives me 120,000 and going back I know I use my scale uh, KHDMDCM I mean 
centimeters and I want my kilometers so this means I'm gonna divide by a, a hundred thousand so hundred and twenty thousand divided by um, a hundred thousand and my answer is 1,2 so this means my final answer remember this will be divided all by 1,000 or 100 um, thousand so this will give me 1,2 kilometers so this means the linear scale was indeed drawn to accurate so you can use the linear scale um, to quickly find your distance or if you're not sure about your calculations in the exam because it's quicker to use and um, it is when you are accurate you'll get accurate answers please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel until the next one